I'm disgusted by Americans' behavior. This is the Get Your Ass to Work podcast, episode number 70. Guys, Americans ratting out Americans. This is what's happening. I'm having a home remodeled, one that we're about to put up for sale. And we had a contractor over at the property and his workers were moving furniture out of the home into the garage so that they can remodel the inside of the property and get the home sold for my home seller who is 89 years old and now in a nursing home and has to sell the home in order to pay his nursing bills. Do you consider that essential? I do. Well, we're having furniture moved out and guess who shows up? OSHA. OSHA shows up and cites my contractor because his workers, while moving furniture out of a house, were too close together, meaning they could pass the virus back and forth towards each other and get COVID and go spread it everywhere else. Now, how is this guy who's in the nursing home going to get his home remodeled and sold without moving the furniture out of his house? How is he going to pay his bills? Well, Americans have decided that they don't give a shit and they're going to go ahead and call the authorities anytime they think that they see something going on that they don't approve of. Not only did OSHA come out once, but they came out twice and then they went to the other work sites where my contractor was at until my contractor basically threw his hands up and said, fuck this. I'm no longer working until this whole virus thing is over unless it's a one man job. Well, in construction, how many jobs are really just a one man job if you want them to run efficiently and profitable? Not many. So basically what Americans have done is decided that it's okay to rat each other out and we're seeing it happen all over the U.S. If you put on the news, you see businesses getting shut down left and right. People are getting taken to jail and Americans are ratting people out like the fucking Gestapo in Nazi Germany. It's sick. It's disgusting and it pisses me off. Look, guys, there are a lot of things out in the world that kill people. Let's just name a few. One, heart attacks, strokes, diabetes, um, cardiovascular disease. Do you see me at the grocery store checking your shopping cart as you come out of the fucking grocery store and pulling the dum-dums and the ice cream and the candy and the chips and saying, oh, guess what? You can't eat this because it's going to lead to you putting an unnecessary strain onto the medical system because this can lead to you being overweight and possibly having one of these diseases that kills millions of Americans a year. No, of course I'm not doing that and neither does anybody want me to do that. It's not happening yet. People feel like they need to be the secret service police and go tell on other Americans for doing their job. Now, here's what makes me sick about this shit. It's not like it's not like places and organizations, homeowners associations and people that do this stuff for a living, you know, run around like little rats and make little notes about your house and send it to you in the mail saying there's a weed in your driveway, you need to take care of this. Or if you don't, in 14 days, are going to get a fine. This is the type of shit that Americans are doing to each other, driving people fucking bankrupt, putting people out of businesses, putting family in harm's way. I mean, for fuck's sake, if you're one of these people, mind your own fucking business. I don't go and get in to your car and tell you to put your fucking seatbelt on. I don't show up at the grocery store and pull bad food out of there. I don't wake your ass up at 5 a.m. and make you go exercise because you're too lazy to go do it because you're an able-bodied person and you just don't want to go exercise. We don't do any of that shit. So stop telling on other people who are trying to provide a living to their family, who are trying to produce income. (sighs) 
can't go around ratting on people. Nobody appreciates a rat. Nobody is celebrated for being a rat. If you are one of these people, mind your own fucking business. Move on with your life. And if you're so afraid of the virus, put on your mask, wear your gloves, and stay in your home or your backyard or walk around the parks with your mask on, drive your car with your mask on, but leave other people alone. Because I believe people are smart enough to make their own decisions at this point in time about the virus. We don't need you. They don't need me. And we don't need the government telling us what is essential business, what should be closed down, what can open up when. The government does not support your business. People do. Citizens support your business. Citizens And customers are the people who use your business. So for fuck's sake, why are we allowing the government to determine what is essential and what is not? Case in point, gyms. I get it. Everyone touches things at the gym. There's a lot of people that could be in the gym at one time, yet they are still closed. Why is the number one place that is preventative medicine still shut down When you have so many people that rely on going to the gym to get their exercise in, to control their weight, their blood pressure, their diabetes, their mental health, why is it still shut down? Because it's been deemed non-essential by the government. The government doesn't choose what is essential or what is not essential. The market determines what is essential. And what is essential to you? Nobody gives a fuck about except for you. What is essential to other people is what they're concerned about. People can make their own decisions. Let them and get on with your life and get your ass back to work so you can produce an income and provide for your family during these times because I don't think it's going to get better anytime soon, even after they reopen everything in the casinos and everything else. Who is going to go eat sushi elbow to elbow at the sushi bar? Nope. Do you think they're going to survive on takeout? I fucking doubt it. Why? Because eating sushi is an experience where you go in, you sit down, you see the sushi maker making everything. It's fun. It's social. I go to Starbucks this morning. Nobody is there. Nobody has been there. Nobody is going to Starbucks anymore, which, hey, if you don't like Starbucks, I don't give a shit. That's not the point of this conversation. Places like Starbucks are built on being social. They're built on people doing business transactions and meeting friends and family and having conversations. What do you do? Let's meet at so-and-so Starbucks. I go to these places now and they have four people behind the counter and absolutely nobody in the store and that's pretty common day in and day out. Businesses are not going to survive. And we have people, our own citizens, your neighbor ratting on you for trying to help somebody move furniture out of their house because they think that you're too close together and they're going to call OSHA. (sighs) We'll see you next week.